Richard Hammond is legally blind. He's been on the NDIS since 2020. Two days ago, he received an email saying his data might have been stolen. I was pretty disturbed. It's all the assessments that I've had. There are physiotherapy assessments, my GP reports. The sensitive personal information of some NDIS participants, including about their mental and physical health, was in the hands of a law firm contracted by the agency running the scheme, the NDIA. The data breach was made public in April, with HWL Ebsworth revealing it had been hacked by Russian cyber criminals. In June, the group posted stolen data on the dark web. It wasn't until late July that the NDIA confirmed that some NDIS participants, their carers and families, had been affected. Advocates worry this breach may carry a safety risk. This is the information regarding you know, people's disabilities, um, the way they live their lives, you know, where they live their lives, you know, the things that we interact with on a daily basis, the services we engage with. And they want better regulation. We urgently need to see stronger protections put in place for NDIS participant privacy um, and for uh, the governing of the relationships between the NDIA and the third parties they engage with. The National Disability Insurance Agency says it's taken measures to protect participants and their data and it's still working with HWL Ebsworth to establish whose information was stolen. It says it prioritised contacting participants as soon as possible. We have so many in our community that are vulnerable and this is an attack on our vulnerability. And on trust. Naz Campanella, ABC News.